It's about that time, guys. Christmas is close. And with that comes Christmas movies. Let's talk about some of the ones that I watch every Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the North Nerd Poll with me, your host, Christopher Chavez. All right, let's try that opening again. That was weird. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nerd News. I'm your host, Chris Chavis. This is a show created for nerds by a nerd. Now this time of year, you're gathered around your fireplace or your space heater that you got at Target or Walmart, but nonetheless, you are warm and cozy and ready to watch Christmas movies. And we all have our favorite movies that we watch like tradition every year. We pass it down for generation to generation, or if you don't have kids, your pets, your pets will watch them because they, they can watch movies. They really don't mind you. And I just wanted to share with you guys the movies that I love watching uh, every Christmas. And if you enjoyed these movies as well, great, high five. Yeah, good job. But before we get into that, if this is your first time here, please hit the like, the subscribe, the notification bell so that you're notified of all episodes. Yeah. And now let's get on to Christmas movies, shall we? Now my movie list could go on for hours, but I wanted to condense it into something small so that you can understand why I like these movies. And hopefully you'll, if you haven't seen them, you probably have seen all of these movies, but just in case if you haven't, you know what to watch this uh, Halloween. Halloween. Christmas. This Christmas season. Halloween past. Halloween already left. I did an episode on Halloween. <sighs> Alright kids, let's do this. And in no particular order, we are going to start off this list with Scrooged. Now Scrooge came out in 1988 and it stars the legendary Bill Murray. This man is a comedic gold, comedic legend. He can make reading the phone book look amazing and sound. And there are so many famous comedians in this movie that that's one reason why I selected this. Now, it has the Christmas feeling of, you know, the typical Scrooge. Typical, you know, he hates life, he hates kids, he hates everything. Uh, uh, Christmas, he hates Christmas. And he gets visited by the ghost of Christmas past, Christmas future, present. Uh, and it's just, it's the same kind of story, but throw in comics into the movie instead of, you know, a, like kind of more of a dramatic ish movie and it's it changes the whole feel of it i mean there's something something comical about being visited by all these spirits that it it just screams bill murray is perfect for scrooge and a great example of that is carol kane's character who i believe is the uh, ghost of christmas present i believe and uh she constantly smacks him like he's like i don't believe in this and she's always like just backhanding him and i i don't <laughs> I don't know why that stuck with me as a kid, but I thought that was the funniest thing. Violence is funny, kids. That's what I'm getting. But if you know, if you haven't seen Scrooge, it's hilarious. If you love Groundhog's Day, if you love uh, Ghostbusters, Bill Murray is just his comedic timing is amazing. It's so good. Check it out. Uh, you can watch it anywhere. Next is a movie that everyone has seen, and for some people, it is the quintessential Christmas movie ever, and that is A Christmas Story. Now this 1983 leg lamping, bully stomping, get your tongue stuck on a pole is so classic and legendary. It has so many good quotable lines that everyone does it. Everyone says these lines, or if you say a line from it, you're like, oh, Christmas story, I know that. And of course you can't forget uh, Ralphie, his brother. <laughs> He's all bundled up. Oh, wait for me, Ralphie. It's just so, it's so stupid, I love it. And this movie made me want a BB gun. I never wanted a BB gun before. And then I want it from this movie. I mean, even though he literally does almost shoot his eye out. Can you imagine if Quentin Tarantino did this movie? He shoots it, literally his eye comes out. And blood squirts everywhere. Oh, that would be so good. But from the pink bunny outfit to uh, God, yeah, getting his tongue stuck in a pole, which freaked me out as a kid, this movie stands the test of time. It is still good to this day. It never gets old to me. So this movie is definitely on my list. It will be watched uh, sometime this week. But uh, Christmas Story, gosh, if you haven't seen it, buy it. Oh, wait, and I forgot my favorite line from the movie. When they... <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, I can't even say it. When he first got the box that had the leg lamp and it said fragile on it, and he goes, oh, look, honey, it says fragile. It must be Italian. And then the camera kind of like stays on them and the wife goes, I, I, I believe that says fragile, honey. And he goes, oh, yeah. it's so good. Man, 
Next, we're gonna move on to another quintessential uh, Christmas movie that I definitely watch every Christmas. It's the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Now this 1989 comic classic stars Chevy Chase and has one of the catchiest opening songs, I mean, ever. It's that time, Christmas time is here. Everybody knows there's not a better time of year. I mean, this movie, if I was to explain this movie to someone, they let's say they've never heard it, never seen it. I'd be like, have you seen Home Improvement? It's like Tim Allen's character in Home Improvement, but then add the Christmas theme to it. That's Christmas Vacation. I mean, this movie has so many classic scenes from them trying to say grace at dinner to Uncle Eddie wrapping a cat. Uh, and then they wrapped a jello mold. You remember that? Uh, it's, just, it's, it's so funny. But it does have that Christmas feel of family is, you know, the best part of it. It's not the gifts. It has a good message, but it has that Charlie Chaplin kind of quirky uh, prop comedy that Chevy Chase is really, really good at. Next, we're gonna move on to an animated Christmas movie and that of The Grinch. Now, the reason why I chose the animated one, not the live action or the Benedict Cumberbatch CGI version, is because the classic one is I remember growing up as a kid, the animated one. And there's something about the, uh, the old school, you know, drawing each scene, uh, the style of Dr. Seuss of how they actually put it from the book to uh, film, it just, it transcended the book perfectly. It looked just like the book. And I bet like everyone, they wanted to have Max the dog because he was a cool dog. He actually like did things. He was like a human. But that movie, <laughs> out of every movie on this list, I think the Grinch is the one that really sparks the little, your little heart of uh, the Christmas, the Christmas feel. I mean, because let's face it, this creepy Grinch steals Christmas and steals all the presents and he's expecting them to be all, oh no, Christmas. But what happens? They all love each other. They hold hands and sing and his heart grew and he gave the presents back. Oh, such a good movie. Clearly, I love all these movies. Now, the last movie on this list is very controversial. Uh, some people will say it's a Christmas movie. Some will say, no, it's not. You're an idiot. And yes, you already know what the movie is. I'm just gonna say it. Die Hard. Now, before you're like, ah, oh, here we go again. Another person that's like, ooh, my favorite Christmas movie. Okay, here's why I think it's a Christmas movie. It's set during a Christmas holiday. There are presents just strewn about in the opening scene. There's Christmas music playing. There's eggnog being passed around the Christmas party. So you see the theme here? It's set during Christmas. There are Christmas elements. It's a Christmas movie. Now, I know what you're saying. It doesn't have the Christmas feel like, you know, it's better to give than it is to receive. Well, you know, it's it, that's in here too. It's better to give a bullet than to receive a bullet. Do you see what I mean? It's a Christmas movie. Now, this movie came out in 1988. It stars Bruce Willis. It is an action movie. It, it's my favorite action movie of all time because it's just a classic shoot 'em up good old Christmas <laughs> movie. I mean, yes, this movie is rated R, but Santa probably has dropped the F-bomb once in a while. He ate a bad cookie or a, an elf messed up and he's said bad things and Business Claus told him to sleep on the couch. It's happened, right? But Die Hard is on the list. Deal with it. It's my list. Now, there are so many other good movies on here that I wanted to mention, but we're short on time. So here are the honorable mentions of other movies that I watch weeks before Christmas. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a great one. Oh, I love that one. Oh, that's on here. Oh, good one, Chris, good one. And thanks guys for watching. Let me know if there is a movie that I forgot that should be on this list. I would like to know. And if you guys enjoyed this show, check out my social media accounts on Instagram and Twitter. I update those daily so that you're notified of all entertainment news so that, you know, you're on the know. And thank you guys. I hope you have a great Christmas when Christmas rolls around. Um, and it is better to give than it is to receive unless you get a pink bunny suit then you just give that right back and smile.